in this tutorial i am going to discuss a programming question find all anagrams in a string so the problem statement is given a string s and a non empty string p find all the start indices of p's anagrams in s both these strings only consist of lower case english letters and the length of both strings s and p will not be larger than 20100 the order of output does not matter so before checking the examples let's understand what is anagram so two strings are said to be anagrams of each other if it is if it contains the same character only the order of characters in both the string is different for example uh, given this two string car and rac so in both the string uh, both the strings have the same character only the order of character in both the string is different now let's see the example so in the first example given a string s and p we have to check all the anagrams of string p in a string s so one anagram is cba and its start indices is zero and another is bac and its start indices at index six so we return uh, the list of integer so in this list of integer we return the indices so it is zero and six and in the example two given this string s and p and so the first anagram is at 0th index so a b and the second one is b a which is at first index and the third is a b again which is at second index so we return this list of indices which is 0 1 and 2 so this is the problem statement and now let's discuss how we can solve this problem in this example, I'll discuss the approach using map and a sliding window. So the sliding window size will be equal to the length of string P. So uh, the window size will be equal to uh, the size of a string P. And instead of using hash map, here we are going to use array of fixed size and its size is 26. So as in the problem statement, it is already mentioned that both the string consist of lowercase English letters. So now let's visualize how we can solve this problem using map and sliding window. Let's first understand the approach, then we will see its Java code. So here we are using two arrays of fixed size and the size is 26. And in first array, we put the character count of this string P and in second array, we put the character count of this string S. So the question here is how how we are mapping the character with the index of an array. So here we are using the ASCII code. So the ASCII code of small case letter A is 97, B is 98, C is 99 and it goes up to Z which is 122. So now the ASCII code is 97 so we can't directly put uh, in this array as the index start from 0 and ends with 25. So what we do is we subtract uh, the ASCII code of A with A, the ASCII code of B with A, the ASCII code of C with A. So we subtract all the characters ASCII code with the ASCII code of A. So it means uh, when we subtract the ASCII code of A with 97, so the ASCII code of A is 97, so we get uh, uh, 0th index. When we subtract the ASCII code of B, which is 98 minus 97, we get the index 1. Similarly, for C, we get the index 2. For D, we get the index 3 and it goes up to 25. So here is the code for that. So what we do is we traverse this string and put its character count in the first array. So let's traverse it. So the first character is A. So we uh, we go at that index, 0th index and increment its count which is one so when we declared the array so so uh, the initial value present at each index is zero then the next character is b we go at that index and increment its count then the next uh, index is uh, next character is c we go to that uh, we go to second index and increment its count now to check whether two strings are anagrams or not it should be of uh, so the two string are anagrams or not it should be of same size so we keep a window whose length is equal to the length of this string p so we keep a window 
of size equal to the length of this string p so simultaneously we traverse this uh, string as well up to that length and put its character count in this uh, second array so c mapped with this index so let's increment its count b mapped with this index let's increment its count a mapped with this index increment its count and we keep this uh, window i mean uh, we maintain this window so in next iteration we remove this character and we include this character so in this way we again maintaining the window of size 3 and in next iteration we remove this character b and we include this character b so at each time we are keeping the window size 3 and we are checking whether it is the anagram of this string so in this way we solve this problem so now we have uh, simultaneously traverse these two string up to the length 3 so this le uh, the length of uh, string p is 3 the length of a string s so uh, the length of a string p is 3 so we traverse this string and create create it and put its uh, character count in this array and we traverse this string up to this length initially up to this length to maintain the window size and put its character count uh, in this array and then we finally we traverse this string up to uh, the string length minus this string length as we are maintaining uh, the window size of 3 so now initially we put the character count in both the uh, arrays and if if both the if so i mean if both these string are anagram then the count present at each index will be same so we check whether uh, this is anagram so yes this string and this string is anagram so we we add its initial index which is zero then what we do is then we remove this character from the current window and include this current uh, character in the uh, in the current window so uh, this window contain these characters b a e so what we have to do is we have to decrement the count at this index uh, so the index associated with this character so index associated with this character is this index so let's decrement its count and increment the count associated with this character increment the count at the index which is associated with this character so it is this one and then in next iteration again we pass these two arrays and we verify that at each index the count is same if the count is same then these uh, this and this string are anagram else it's not and this time when we check the count present at 0th index is 1 and here the count present at 0th index is 1 the count present at first index is 1 the count present at first index is 1 the count present at second index is 1 the count present at second index is 0 so it is not an anagram now again we remove uh, this character from the current window and we include this character in the current window so now the window contain these characters so no need to change i mean uh, the uh, count at these indexes again the character are same so again this is not the anagram so let's remove this character from the window and include this character in a window e a b again this is the same so again uh, if we uh, decrement then increment it will uh, remain the same and then remove this character from uh, the current window include this character in the current window so this time this is 0 and this is 2 and again you can see the count present at uh, at at this index is 1 uh, uh, at this index it is 1 at this index it is 1 and in this array it is 2 so it's not an anagram so now uh, what we have to do is we have to remove this character from this window and we have to include this character in this window so let's 
uh, increment to 2 and in uh, decrement its count and again it is not same so let's remove this character from the current window and include this character in the current window so decrement its count and increment its count and now let's compare this time the character uh, the uh, value present at both the indexes are same so it's an anagram so this is the anagram so let's put it index and this index is 6 and we do the same process and after uh, when we came out of this loop we again check whether uh, this is the anagram as uh, the the last window when we add we came out of this loop and to verify the uh, these two strings are anagrams or not we check one more time and uh, it will return whether uh, the count at uh, the count present in uh, present at the indexes of both the arrays are same or not if it is same we add uh, the index if it is not then this condition is skipped and at last we return the list of integers so the list of indices so now let's talk about its time and space complexity so its time complexity is o n and its space complexity is o1 so why uh, it is o1 so we we are using a fixed size array as the input grows we don't require any extra space so the space remains constant so that's why it is o1 and why it is o n so we are traversing this array and here we are validating whether it is anagram or not so we are iterating uh, array from index 0 to 25 and it is always remains uh, same now let's see the code so i have already explained uh, the complete approach let's quickly go through the code so here i have declared two variables and initialize with the length of string p and a string s if any of the condition fails simply return the empty array list and here i have declared two array of fixed size one for uh, string p and one for a string s then i am traversing tra uh, traversing both the string up to the length of string p and uh, why we are putting it and what we are putting it i have already explained and then uh, in this uh, uh, then we are iterating the string s up to string uh, string length minus uh, the length of string p and then here we are checking whether it is anagram if the uh, condition of anagram is if the both array contains the same count at each index then it, it is anagram and here we are checking uh, here is the code for checking whether it is anagram or not so we are traversing an array up to up to the length of this array and then at each index we are verify uh, we are verifying whether uh, the count is same or not if the count is not same then uh, simply return false else it means it's an anagram and then we are uh, returning the result which is the list of indices so uh, that's it for this video tutorial for more such programming videos you can subscribe our youtube channel you can visit our website which is https colon slash slash thanks for watching this video and please don't forget to like this video